Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest 4. I'm here with Kayla Hiwatari and we're gonna go do some grinding. Uh, this will just be a nice little chatting video. Um, I like to go grind in here in the well because it has the best monsters. Um, so yeah, <laughs> let's go down the well. Now, our goal is 1,200, so we need, like, 700 more, um, which will take a while, a long while. I don't know if you want to see all this. So, we're going to chat, because I'm just going to come up around the, um, where the hole is to grind. actually probably a better place but I don't really want to do it there <laughs> um, I don't really want to go in there yet because I want to wait till I sh can show it off to you guys um, so yeah it'll just be a nice little chatting video we're gonna get um, my uh, money from my iron armor that I want and these guys are gonna take forever because they're gonna keep healing each other yay there we go I'm just still using a copper sword right now. <laughs> I could get a better weapon, but I don't want to waste my money. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to grind and walk around here in a circle, basically. Whoopee. Fun times, guys. <laughs> Fun times. Um, so, yeah. Um... What a topic to talk about would be. Um, I guess I could talk about the story of why I uh, haven't played Dragon Quest One. <laughs> Dragon Quest Two story is a little better. It's um, it's not as bad. Um, so yeah, Dragon Quest Two is because of my sight, and I was a little nervous about playing it. Um, in um, I was a little nervous about the parts with the caves, because I know you have to, like, um, use torches in them, and they'll go out on you. So I was a little worried about how long I could last in there before it went dark and I wouldn't be able to see anything. Because, um, I'd watch my, my family, my dad and my sister and brothers play the games um, for games that I couldn't see well enough to play on my own. Um, I can play Dragon Quest games on my own, I was just, like I said, I saw that part and I was nervous about playing it. Um, never actually tried playing it. Um, like, since then, I mean. <laughs> it's one that's on my to-do list, I just get distracted by other Dragon Quests that I like better as I've played them. Um, um, Dragon Quest 1, well, I was a little, little kid, and I did try to play that one. I, um, I, I was fine, like, going out, like, looking around the castle and going out into the world, but, um, yeah, then there was the monster music. And it, like, always startled me when the monsters would show up and it would play the music. So I got scared and, like, turned it off and never played it again. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really sad, I know. But I was, like, a little kid and that, like, like, gave me nightmares <laughs> when I was little. Um, I like this Dragon Quest much better. I'm much better with Dragon Quest now than I used to be. Um, and we got another level! Yay! Um... This one... I played a bunch of times because I was really stubborn about it. I never actually finished it for NES, though. Because it is... Pretty impossible to beat. I do not recommend playing that version. <laughs> um... 
the final boss battle is very, very difficult, as you rely on your random NPCs to help you beat it. Um, the beginning of the game, on the other hand, I played like a bazillion times, and I mean this part, um, because, well, we have the old NES system, we actually still have it, it's still alive, and I've had it, like, since I was a kid, like, when I say we, I mean my family, it's, it's at my mom's house, but, um, I still have it, I can still play it, and, um, it was an old, like, NES cartridge, so it would get really dirty, and if, um, it'd get really dirty and, like, the system was finicky, so, like, um, it was an old system, it was really finicky, so, like, you put a cartridge in it, like, it, it takes a long time to get it to, like, sit properly so that the game will read it. And if you take out the cartridge, then it messes that up, and it's really hard to, um, get it to, like, actually play again. You have to keep, like, resetting the system. There's a weird way to, like, recalibrate it. And, um, if you don't reset the NES, like, turn off the NES properly, like, you can hit the reset button and mess up your game. And sometimes when, like, that happened, it would, um, lose the save data on the cartridge, and there was the sound of death that went... That was a real pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. Oh, did my controller stop working? Okay, so I'm back in the cave. Um, my controller died. And then when I, um, started it, got it to start back up again, like, I, I don't know, it didn't die, it just stopped working, it does that sometimes, like, it glitches or whatever. I don't know what's wrong, my phone is a little weird, I use my phone to record, but anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it stopped working, and then when I got it to start again, I walked into the hole. So I was back at the start of the cave. Um, I didn't want to miss any, you to miss any fights in case I got into one. Um, so yeah, so as I was saying about the NES system, the, there was an awful game over sound and or not game over like all awful erased your file sound and it was just like the worst thing in the world to hear. It still like gives me the shivers to this day because it's like. No! Oh, the game progress you worked so hard to, like, um, uh, the farthest I got before getting frustrated and not playing, or not bothering to finish with it, was that I got, um, to the later part of Chapter 5 when you finally meet and have everybody with you in your party. It's not really a spoiler, because I mean, I know, like, I'm sure you guys know there'll be other people we're gonna get in our party later, but, uh, yeah. That was as far as I got before I was just like, okay, this is enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, that's why I never finished this game when I was a kid. But, oh, when it came, first came out for the DS, I was so excited. I, like... I had it, like, pre-ordered and ready to get and everything, and went and got it, like, that day <laughs> it came out. Yeah, I was so excited, I could not wait. Um, and I was equally excited when, um, 5 and 6 came out, which are, um, other parts of the Zenithian trilogy, which was actually really shocking to me to find out that it is a trilogy. I only never knew the, um, game 4 for the NES, um, since I really liked the Zenithian games, and I was just like, there's more of them? Oh, I gotta get these. <laughs> and then we're almost at our goal. We got about a hundred, wait, I need 1,200, not a thousand. My mistake. I'd say a little less, but the leather armor won't get me that much money. Unfortunately, that's what I have on right now. Just leather armor. 
Oh. Nice job, Healy. Yeah, since I'm not really checking on um, my HP right now, I actually probably should. Yeah, we're okay now, but since I'm not really checking on it, Healy, like, may die on me. <laughs> um, oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, I haven't discussed the what happens if you, like, die, like, get a game over yet. Um, yeah, so if one character dies, you can revive them. There are a couple ways. Well, one or two or, like, if you have one character left, you're still okay. Um, you can just go to a church or use something that can bring someone back from the dead that you get later in the game, eventually. Um, churches will revive you though, that's basically how you do it and totally you can do it without that. Um, but if everyone dies and you do get a game over, but it takes you back to the last place you saved at and uh, the really only penalty that Dragon Quest games have you get to keep everything that you earn and all that, but um, you lose half your gold when you die. So, you want to be careful about that happening. Um, you can go drop your gold at a bank eventually, but uh, you will lose, yeah, you'll lose half your gold if you die, so be careful of that. Like, if everybody dies. If just Ragnar or Healy died, it'd be okay. I could go to the church and pay money to revive them. To the favorite, least favorite character um, topic, but I don't want to spoil um, the game for people who haven't played it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd go into that topic. <laughs> um, that could be a topic for the later part, half of the game, though. Um, if I remember to touch on it, I, I probably will, but if I forget, someone can remind me, I'm sure, and we can talk about that. Um, I think I've said my favorite and least favorite games, uh, but yeah, the Zenithian Trilogy I really love, um, this one being my favorite, then, um, then probably six and then five, um, I know six can be a little annoying because it is long and, um, it's really got a bit of a clunky class system to it, like you have to level them up and it takes forever to max them all out, but uh, it was fun, I enjoyed it. Um, I like 5 too, but I like it like the least out of the trilogy. Like I like them all, but I just like the other two more is what I'm saying. Um, 5 is really good though, like... Um, if you're new to this series, it might be a decent starting point because you have like choices you can do in five since like um, it's called Hand of the Heavenly Bride. Like, I'm not spoiling anything by saying that. And um, in it, well, you get married and you can choose who you get married to. Um, so, like, I mean, if people like kind of, and you have kids too, so like. You know, if people kind of like that, like, family kind of aspect thing to it, then that's a good starting off game. Um, <clears throat> it's also another really good starting off game. Um, I haven't played that one as of yet. I'm starting to work on it now, or soon. Um, I am starting on it slowly, but 8 is a really hard one for me to see. Um, I've actually never played it before because I couldn't see it on the PlayStation 2 version. Um, a lot of it's at night, and um, when I played it at night, my TV screens were too dark and I couldn't see anything on the screen. Like, anything. <laughs> um, so now it's been released for the 3DS as of, um, as of January, so pretty recently when I'm playing this. <laughs> of January 2017, and, um, I've just started out on it. It's good so far. Um, I hear it's a really good game, and it's a lot of people's favorite, um, so I'm sure I'll like it. <laughs> um, I just haven't played it 
before because it's been too dark for me. Um, but the 3DS version, I can see enough that I can, like, play it when it's light. Um, and the dark, I can see enough to, like, um, walk toward light and find it. <laughs> um, um, I can kind of see in the dark, but it's very difficult. I need, like, to watch someone play it so it can direct me to find out where I'm going. Which is something I had to do, um, for the Game Boy Color port of... The Game Boy Color remake, it was actually a remake, of Dragon Quest Free, which... I also really like Dragon Quest 3. That one's really fun. Um, good storyline. Um, so yeah, I like the Olive Guard games. I just uh, didn't play the... Um, I like like the storylines. I just haven't played the first two. <laughs> um, but yeah, like um, when I played the uh, Game Boy Color version of 3, um, the Game Boy Color... <clears throat> SP, advanced SP that I had, it was good because I could like have the built-in light to it, but um, there was a point um, where it started becoming harder for me to see it, like, when my eyes got used to like things like the DS and free DS, I can't really get them to focus on it on the Game Boy Color anymore, so, um, or have enough light to play it by if I played the actual Game Boy Color instead of the SP. And yeah, it's just not bright enough for me anymore. <clears throat> um, but I could try playing it if I got a good emulator for it. If you guys do want to see me do 1, 2, and 3. Um, yeah, as far as remakes goes, like I said, um... Like I said, how 8 has just been released here in the, in North America. I say North America because I actually live in Canada, I'm not in the States. <laughs> um, and, but yeah, we also just got Dragon Quest 7 um, in September, I think it was. Um, I, I had to wait till October to get and play it, but, um, or start it. <laughs> and, uh, I, like, just finished that, like, a couple weeks ago, which is why I haven't really gotten into 8 yet, because I needed a break from really big, long games. <laughs> I don't count this as a big, long game. Yeah, it is, but I know it really well, so I just don't count it. <clears throat> um, it's not that long. Um... I think I can play this one in like, I don't know, 50 hours maybe? Um, Dragon Quest 7 is like double that. <laughs> well, more than double that. <laughs> Since I take longer when I'm looking around to see stuff, but yeah. Dragon Quest 7 averages at like 100 hours. It's really, really long. Um, roughly a hundred hours, I think, I guess, um, but yeah, it's really long, but I really, 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 really liked it, um, so good. That one was fun. I had, there's a version of it on the PlayStation, which I had played before, but I only got, and yes, this is, I am saying only in the sentence, I only got in for, like, 30 hours in, and that is, like, uh, that's just, like, scratching the surface of that game. It's not far at all. <laughs> so, yeah. It's like the first phase of the game. It takes, it took 30 hours on the PlayStation. Um, the 3DS version isn't as long as the PlayStation one, because they cut some stuff out to make it a bit shorter. Like, the first dungeon was cut out. Um, hopefully that's not spoiling it for anybody um, that was looking forward to that dungeon. And now knowing that it's not going to be in the 3DS remake. But, uh, 
Oh, yeah, good game. <laughs> um, I'm always excited to see like what characters you'll get in the games, which make it fun how the characters like work and what their personalities are for the bit of the personalities we get to see without a party chat function. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, those are my topics so far. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've played like Dragon Quest 3 to Dragon Quest 7, and then I've also played 9, which I didn't really like 9 that much. <laughs> Well, I'm saying I do, I, I enjoy, like, seeing the different characters, um, in Dragon Quest 3, you get to, like, make your character, sort of, um, which is cool as well, but I also like seeing the different characters and, like, knowing who they are, like, and you have a generic hero, it's just, like, a generic silent hero and you don't really know much about them, um, but... Um, they're still okay, but I prefer getting to, like, know a character. Like, Regna, the Scottish soldier who is doing his job for his king and looking for the missing children. It's, uh, good stuff. Good plots, too. Oh, wow. Look at all the gold I made while talking. I wasn't even keeping track. <laughs> well, uh... That could have been a little shorter since I have more than what I need. So we're gonna go get my armor. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little grinding episode and hearing me talk about the various Dragon Quest games. Um, kind of nice to sit down and do a nice relaxing episode like this. Yes, I call this relaxing. <laughs> I find grinding like this really fun. Especially really in it when I know the game so well, like inside and out. I'm sorry, I didn't show how much that increased. <laughs> um, well, it'll show it now. There we go. Wow, huge increase. Look at that. That's because it's like the top tier at this point in time from the bottom tier at this point in time. Or the other way around. Yeah, <laughs> I went from leather armor all the way up to iron armor, that's why it was such a big boost. We did get our iron shield, yep. Okay, we have all the best armor at this point in the game. Weapon I'm going to hold off on because there will be something better in the tower. I don't know, maybe I'll use some of my leftover money and at least get a decent weapon so I can go through it kind of quickly. How much money do I have left over? Yeah, let's get a better weapon. I mean, I'm not going to spend my money on anything else. So I will get something better than the sword. <laughs> Which, uh, what can I afford? Um, Hunter's bow? Okay, we'll get that. Might as well. We'll go into the tower with that. See, it's good we picked up extra money. Then I can go through the, um the tower a lot faster. We'll sell the copper sword. I could stick this stuff in my bag for like later, but I don't really see a point with it just being stupid beginner's gear. <laughs> There's no point to try and pass it off to other characters. <laughs> Yeah, they could make a bit of money off it, but there's just no point. It's so pitiful right now. Okay. Oh, we're like over an hour in already. <laughs> so, that is all for this lovely little grinding episode. I'm your host, Kayla Hiwatari. Please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. And next time, we're going to take on that tower and finish off Ragnar's chapter. I'll see you then.